the Moppet isn't sucking in water properly, here are the steps to quickly pinpoint the problem. First, let's look at how the Moppet vacuum system works. The vacuum system is made up of a vacuum motor, a dirty water recovery tank, a squeegee where the system comes in contact with the floor, and hoses that connect these three components. The recovery tank also has a clean-out cap and a drain hose with a cap. The vacuum motor creates a suction that travels from one end of the system to the other. This is what carries the water from the floor to the recovery tank. In order for the system to work effectively, it must remain sealed, free from leaks and obstructions. A disconnected hose, a loose cap, a missing squeegee wheel, or an obstruction will either impair or bypass the suction from the squeegee. Now let's look at how this is laid out on the actual machine. On the right side, the vacuum hose connects the vacuum motor to the dirty water recovery tank, creating a vacuum inside the tank. On the left side, the squeegee hose transfers the vacuum created in the recovery tank to the squeegee bar, sucking the water into the tank. Almost all problems with the vacuum system can be lumped into one of three categories, electrical, leaks or disconnects, and blockages. We'll start with the electrical. When you flip the vacuum switch, does the vacuum motor turn on? It should sound like this. If it doesn't turn on, please watch our Troubleshooting the Electrical System video to further diagnose the exact problem. Now we'll look for any obvious leaks. Make sure the clean-out cap and the drain hose are on tight. Ensure that the squeegee bar is in the down position and that there is a white wheel on both sides of the bar. If a wheel is broken or missing, replace it with a new one. Remember to place the lock washer on the inside of the wheel. Next, we'll look at blockages. A blockage is most likely to occur between the squeegee bar and the recovery tank. A blockage can also be caused by a dirty vacuum filter inside the recovery tank. To remove a blockage between the squeegee hose port and the dirty water tank, simply use a garden hose, with or without a spray nozzle, and spray water into the port. To remove a blockage from the squeegee hose, spray water into the hose. Water should come rushing out of the squeegee bar. To clean the vacuum filter, pull the vacuum hose from its port and while tipping the moppet forward, spray water into the port. Using a flashlight, look through the clean-out port to make sure the filter is clean. Replace the cap and make sure it's on tight. Now, let's go over the process of elimination to easily determine where the problem lies, which will in turn tell us what the problem most likely is. To do this, we will check for suction at three checkpoints. The vacuum hose port, the squeegee hose port, and the squeegee bar port. With the vacuum running, Hold the vacuum hose from its port and check for suction by placing your hand over the end of the hose. If you feel strong suction, replace the hose and repeat the process at the next checkpoint. Only this time you will place your hand over the port and not the hose. If you still feel strong suction, tip the moppet on its back and put your finger over the squeegee bar port. Once you find the point without suction, you will know that the problem lies between that checkpoint and the one before it. If there's no suction at the first checkpoint, it'll either be a disconnected vacuum hose or a bad vacuum motor. If you lose suction at the second checkpoint, it will either be a blockage in the port tube, a dirty filter, or a loose cap. If you lose suction at the squeegee bar, it'll be a blockage in the squeegee hose. 
the vacuum system is working properly, but the moppet is still leaving minor streaks of water on the floor, the squeegee blade is probably worn and needs to be replaced. This should be done every two to eight weeks depending on the types of floors being cleaned. Reach out to Spectrum by phone or website with any questions. 1-800-290-2833 www.moppet.com